Look at this. So, hey everybody. Penny. Phil. We got Penny. Phil in uh, Phil. Phil in Vancouver today. Anyway, this never happens. We never, okay. we never, I think we've done one podcast. Besides the I think one podcast, podcast in Florida. Oh yeah, that's I right. I think that's the only one we've ever done together. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. I think that's the no, only besides one. Besides the live one, we we did a live. Oh, last the live year. one in Toronto. Yeah, yeah. I know, but those. Yeah, I know. I know cause, yeah. because they're not. They were podcasts, but they, I didn't yeah, really yeah, think yeah, it, that yeah. wasn't like the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. we were riffing yeah, more yeah. than anything. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. we got Phil in in Vancouver. I'm in Kenny's house. Yeah, we're sitting in my house. Yeah. My uh, we call it the COVID couch because I've completely destroyed this couch. He or hasn't. this section. But there is a groove here. No, there, this, this, this so, cushion is done. So this, um, this is actually a good thing to show because like during COVID, so if you see this yeah. curve here. I killed that. Um, I killed the ass cushion. So, like it's a disaster. And then you, it's indented. Yeah, so it's, it's customized for kids. Yeah, it's, there's nobody else that can um, sit here now because it's uh, yeah. literally contoured to my. Uh, yeah, that's pretty funny. My, my body shape, which is really <laughs> interesting on a good day. Anyway. <laughs> It's unusual for us to be together. Normally, well, we never are. We're coast to coast. Yeah, and, we never are. Uh, but we're here because of um, CHFA this weekend, and yeah. Uh, so we're recording. We, we normally put out fast thought on Thursday, like Thursday nights, Friday mornings. So, and I think what sort of spurred this one, I don't know. I think I was I was looking at something on the news, and they were coming up with the the Zellers thing. Yeah, and we kind of we've really not we've stayed away from the whole Zellers thing since they announced. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not for anything. I don't really care to burst their bubble. I never understood well, for it different anyway. Reasons, I think, well, right? I just never understood. Yeah, it. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think. I don't. I personally. I don't know. Pardon me. I don't know a lot of Canadians who loved shopping Zellers when it was open yeah. the first time. Yeah. I don't know anybody who had a you know outside probably people who worked at Zellers. Maybe some suppliers who had a down day when they closed. So yeah. I'm really not too sure. If anybody gives a shit, Zellers is back or not. Yeah. I understand there's yeah. lineups on your side of the country because we don't have one yet. Yeah. Um, but I guess it will help me out. Okay, let's do it this way. Because you know, I'm, you know, I'm the one struggling with this probably even more than you. Is I'm, I don't get it. I don't understand why you put a store within a store. So you're going to put the discounter within the confines of the guy that's supposed to be, I guess, mid tier to, you know, a little higher tier. Yeah. Then you're going to put a, a fail I, concept I, yeah. into it. There's this nostalgia play, which, all right, I'm not too I, sure I what guess. that is, but whatever. So I, I always stayed away. Kenny and I talked about this too. Is I always stayed away from it because I went to you know Target, which kind of built off the ruins of sellers in in some opinions, right? And and it didn't do very well. So I didn't. I never wanted it to seem like I had sour grapes, but. I, I mean, didn't. Any sense either, I didn't. Course. I didn't really understand the whole. I. I think that's just me. I. That's I don't know if that. anyone would no. say that, but I just. I worried about that. But I just think, I like we're. It's it's a funny conversation to have, right? Because we're on the cusp of CHFA, where we are, we are with retailers and brands who are right. leaning into specialization, expertise, right. experiential, right. Um, focusing on fixing consumer problems, right? And we're getting hype about a general merch company that can't do general merch anymore, launching a discount general merch that isn't really general merch. They didn't do a very good job at the, the first time. First through. time. So the second time is going to be better <laughs> when on the second time, they're in more trouble than they yeah, were yeah. the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I don't, All right. I, I think I'm with you. Kenny was asking about, why the store within a store? So this idea of like a discounter within sort of same you know, tier kind of play. I don't, I don't get. Yeah, it. I don't, I don't really. You know, it's like going to your yeah. Maserati dealer and, yeah. and they're selling. You know, no offense. Yeah. Like a, you know, let's say a, a Chevy on the side. I mean, I mm -hmm. like I love Corvettes, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't buy mm -hmm. a Corvette. Well, I don't. Know, I think Corvette is top pack, but it's a bad choice. But I love Corvettes, so forget that one. But I wouldn't go buy a Honda at a Maserati dealer. Yeah, no. Sorry. Mm. Just, mm. I'm not, I don't get it. Mm. I don't go to a watch store. If I walk in a watch store and they're selling Rotec, Rolex, and Patek, and then they have Movado, I leave. Like, yeah. What do you care Movado for? It's like carrying yeah, yeah. No yeah, offense yeah. to the Movado lovers. Yeah, it's not yeah. the point. It's, yeah. You're in a whole different world. Yeah. Like a whole different world. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't know if I, I get it. And I, I do think, like, 
we are in an age where, you know, personalized retail, like being omni-channel, like friction-free retail are all big things. Like, so none of those, none of those say to me that these are things that do any of those no. things. Right. So no. yeah, I didn't, I didn't really get it. I, still I, don't I, get it. I think if there are HBC people or Zellers people that are, I don't know if you're interested in, in what we have to say at all, but I think the thing that might be interesting to me is if you made Zellers stand for something different. So if Zellers was truly like, if it was discount, What's you know what, like, the the like, lowest, lowest price, lowest, was it lowest, where the uh, lowest price is the law. Lowest yeah. Is the law? Okay. But, but it wasn't really right. Like, I don't think it ever was on, a lot of stuff, on right? some things. On yeah. Some things. I yeah. Mean, they, to me, they were sort of our, our um, Canadian alternative to Walmart. Yeah. And if we're, you know, there's, we're vocal as a country about being mm -hmm. um, Canadian. But we're also not stupid to know that we can't really do a lot of, con we can do a lot of Canadian. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of mm -hmm. outside influence, mm -hmm. whether it's the States, which mm -hmm. is predominant, yeah. or the rest of the world. Yeah. But at least when they were, to me, like the competitor to Walmart, the Canadian alternative, yeah, okay, at least I, I kind yeah. of bought into that yeah. Yeah. a little better than, yeah. and it still didn't work. No. And mostly because I don't shop. No. I don't like Walmart and I didn't like Zellers. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's just me. That's not, yeah. it's a yeah. bad, I, I didn't understand them. I don't yeah. like either of them. So I didn't really care. It's funny. Um, so I really care less. Probably the, the most positive things I've heard about Zellers is the diner. Like there seems some, to be an affinity, like the food truck and then the diner, like well, Zellers they, always they, had a, like a restaurant like inside. Yeah. Yeah. So they launched the restaurant too. And it, like the most encouraging things I've ever heard is about the restaurant inside it and not the actual, yeah, you know, open up restaurants. But this is what I'm saying, yeah, right? Is 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 well, no. So so you you could have just opened the Zellers Diner, exactly, right? You know and that I mean, would have been totally okay. A small town Canada, yeah, yeah. Probably would have done okay. Yeah, yeah. Like I, to me, that's the part that I'm missing is if you're HBC or 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 you actually, like, you know what I can buy into that a lot better than I can buy yeah, into anything else. Or or a category that we could really use, like a um, a discount houseware. Um, but don't we already section. have, we have Ikea. We, we have we Ikea. Have, uh, well, we, we have Ikea, we have kitchen food. stuff plus. Mom, you've got winners, I guess. Kind of, sort of. Kind of, but, but the, this is what I'm saying. Like there's, yeah, there's a really so. thin category. It's like Ikea. There's a kitchen stuff for some of the things and not Maybe, other the things. And then you've got like a Walmart and Ashley furniture well, that kind of fills in the rest, way, right? Crappy, yeah, yeah, yeah. But all I'm saying is, I I think that there could be something there yeah, if you figured out how to differentiate it somehow. But it like I think those are the things that we are looking for is experiential and differentiated. Like if you're just going to yeah. do cheap and commodity, we have those already. And if you're not cheap and commodity, we have lots of those so that are now closing, right? That. So cheap and commodity. yeah, yeah. If you're going to do commodity food. Because we're so highly regulated in this country, yeah. just packaging alone, yeah. you can't bring in shit from the U.S. Correct, correct. That yeah. on, or anybody yeah. else's label, without yeah. getting, especially when yeah. you're this size, without a compliance issue. Yeah. So what are you carrying? The same stuff. The same as everybody Wall, else has. Walmart, yeah. Costco. That's exactly like, it. Everybody carries the same stuff. Like, That's well, exactly looks, it. Looks different. Yeah. I, you know what? I like the Zeller's Diner. I like telling the cafe. You. Telling you. I mean, I don't yeah. know if I would still go, but I definitely know, like in Trail, you know, it, we had Zeller's and Trail. And I know, a but lot it of would actually bring that. differentiation to HBC too. Like, so you think of HBC, if it had a diner in it, maybe it would bring something. I don't know if it would save it, but there'd be some experiential yeah. moments in there at least. Right. So, yeah. yeah. I just yeah. mean, I think. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, like I said, I, I really, I struggled to understand one. Now. I struggled to understand Nordstrom's at the time. Yeah. Like Nordstrom's yeah. I understood. I mean, I like Nordstrom's in the States. Actually, I didn't mind it in Canada. It's, it's expensive. Yeah. So even at their thing, I think you and I were looking a while ago. I think Holt has six stores mm -hmm. in Canada. Six or seven. Yeah. I think it's, yeah, I think yeah. it's six. I think the one in Toronto, they count twice. Right, right, right. Yeah. Because it's, yeah. it's on the same street. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. Okay. So street. that's fine. Like I think six, six yeah. stores yeah. in Canada. Yeah. Nordstrom's and, and established, been yeah. here for a million years, right? Yeah. So high end in Canada, you know, remember only Nordstrom's has thirteen, right? Yeah, thirteen stores. Yeah, right? seven plus the discount and six and discount ones. Why would you ones. want the discount in the same? Don't know. Like, to confuse the consumer. Because the discounts in the states don't 
don't the racks get fed from the mothership? Yeah. I'm sure they do some of their own buying. Yeah. But, but the, the discount, the discount is the clear out of the. Well, that's what I yeah. thought. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. why would you go to 13 <laughs> locations? Yeah. Like how yeah, many, yeah. I don't even think they have that many yeah. locations in the States per capita. Yeah. Like my understanding is in a couple of the large cities, like in Chicago, New York, I don't think they have more than one store or something. Yeah, because it's a high, it's supposed to be a high end. Yeah, so why would you go to Toronto Experience. Before? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't understand what these people, I don't understand what they do when they come here. Yeah. I don't know. I think, I think it's, I, I guess, I you know, so it's funny because this leads to a different part of the discussion, but Kenny and I were talking about this is I think the reason that one of the reasons that retailers fail when they come to Canada is they actually fail to realize that we have regs that prevent you from doing many, many things, right? Like, so one of the things that target failed to do was they failed to differentiate from everyone else in the marketplace, right? Like, um, we well, can't in grocery and you can't in yeah. that, like drugs, so, you can't in cosmetics yeah. like, unless the labels are compliant. Yeah. You can't just and, go, willy nilly and bring brands. And what we mean by that, like, so the story I keep telling is my nephew, who was very young at the time, really loved Capri Sun. And so when you went to the US, you could buy Capri Sun in the US, um, we would buy it and bring it back for him. And so when he heard the Target was opening here, he was so excited because he wanted to go and find Capri Sun in a Target here. But what regular Canadians don't anticipate, right, that is something that happens is you can't bring those here. No. Capri Sun isn't built for Canada. It doesn't matter who the retailer is. It's not built for that, no. right? And so you get into this spot so where can. you sub for what everybody well, else did, right? Canadian you Capri sub Sun, for what everybody else has. So, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. So, what are so you it doing? could be Tropicana. It could be, you know, whatever fruit matter. pouch or whatever it is that you're after. But it doesn't matter. Right? It's the same thing that everybody else has, exactly. right? Like you're, you're not bringing unless anything that, in. Unless mm -hmm. that company in the States is willing yeah. to go. So all the packaging yeah, requirements correct. that we have correct. and then launch. Yeah. But yeah. now you're not, now you're trying to drag suppliers into the mess. Yeah. And there's a lot of suppliers that don't like coming up here because yeah. we do have, because the they've got to recertify. You yeah. You can't put the packaging yeah. back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Americans don't want French on the yeah. packaging. Yeah. Well, unless you go put Spanish on the packaging, yeah. you should. I mean, some of the globals would go NAFTA or kind of that trilingual packaging, right? To try and cross. Right. But, our, but your big companies are doing that, not the little. Don't, yeah. Okay. They don't translate the no, same way. Work. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. in their size. Yeah. Yeah. Little Mickey Mouse stores, we can do different yeah. things. But even then, you're, yeah. you're, you're skirting the line. Yeah. yeah. You're really not supposed to do that. Yeah. Right? You're, not supposed yeah. to, you're not supposed to cheat like that, right? Yeah. Because again, the allergens, people don't know, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, whatever. It's our Canadian rules. We have no idea, but sometimes but we just do. So, so we, we started on Zellers, um, but I think, I think that leads us to, you know, kind of things that if you're thinking about like CHFA this weekend, we're here for the show, right? And like the opposite of, you know, what everybody else is doing is what's happening at the show, right? Is, is well, you're going to get show, unique, you're going to get experiential, you're going to get... I think get, you get all that because you yeah. get a lot of small, cool brands that probably aren't in mass distribution yeah. yet. Yeah. Like they're in the natural health channel, maybe some small independent grocers. So you still have a crack before they hit the Walmarts and Walmarts yeah. and Costco's yeah. to have potentially yeah. a cool, maybe cool local story. Yeah or a cool Canadiana story yeah. or something. Yeah. And so yeah. that's why I like this. You know, I'm not going to plug the CHFA. We're all over the place on this one. That's why I like it. Yeah, I don't think we meant shows. to plug. Uh, we love CHFA. But I know, but again, that, I wasn't that wasn't to get to our intent, part. actually. So yeah, but that's why yeah. I like going to this yeah. show or let's see, go to even the expo. Yeah. Again, the expo problem is if you see the cool, then you have to try to figure, okay, how how do, do I bring it here? Do we know a supplier in yeah. Canada that can do this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or is this yeah. supplier from the States motivated yeah. enough to try Canada because back to the labels? Well, but yeah, I, uh, you know, to belabor, not to belabor the point, right? But motivated is one thing, but then resource to well, it as well. Right. It's it's not exactly, well, it's, a whole new it's not a process for no, the no, faint hearted, no, it's right? It's, it's, a it's something new, right? So, and then again, how you make it for yeah. 39 million people yeah, yeah. spread yeah. over. Yep. The same size country yep. that they just left that has 350 million people. Yep. Yeah. Well, right. we're the size of Minnesota, basically, I think. We're the size of, well, in terms Maybe. of what? population. Population. California. California. Okay. Yeah. California yeah, is a good. 39, yeah, 40 yeah. people. Same as us. Yeah. 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 Crazy. One state, though. 
Okay, this is our fast hey, thought. That's it for today. Um, and if you're here for CHFA, oh, we will find us. see you at the show. So we are podcasting tomorrow morning, um, Friday morning, uh, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, we think we're going to have a pretty cool guest on as well. Um, oh, I'm he shows, um, yeah, we're hoping he shows. Um, we're not going to say in case he doesn't show so we don't embarrass him, but um, he's a pretty we'll cool guest. We, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If he doesn't show, we'll embarrass no, him embarrass for sure. Him. But um, that'll be pretty cool. And then we'll be around all weekend. Yeah. Like I think. Can we say where we are though? Um, are we allowed to do the plug for ourselves? Yeah, I think we can plug ourselves. Like, so if you don't know it already, um, Kenny and I both, um, you know, we're co-founders in Old Growth Brands, which is a micro ground tea. Uh, we're going to be at that booth which um, for parts of the weekend. Booth. I don't remember the number of the booth. Um, come find us. We're in the 1500s, I, I believe. 1500s. Yeah, yeah. So we're in the OGB. 1500s. OGB, baby. OGB. But we'll be there. We'll yeah. be and around. We'll be uh, and then look for the This yeah, Commerce Life t-shirts. We're, we're, yeah. we're around. Yeah, we're looking forward to. It. We've got so many people that we want to see. And if you want to explain the Zeller you know, things uh, better, so the yeah, yeah, I more better. I, I, yeah. I'll, I'll take the we would love it. We would love it. And run, or if you want yeah. to try the Nordstrom, I'm good with yeah. that. Yeah, or or if you disagree with us, you want to yell at well, us. Okay we'll be there all too. weekend. So I'm used to people yelling. Yeah, at us, yeah. So it's not a big deal. yeah, yeah. All right, um, that's it. Bye, ciao, guys.